half hour or so. <sighs> Okay, good morning guys. So we're back at Jumping Pin today. Just going to give it a quick go. The uh, water's pretty brown. It's the bottom of the tide and it's just sort of changed. So we should have all the fresh water starting to push in. A few boats around and um, yeah, let's get into it and see what happens. We're just walking the beach for probably half hour or so while the water clears up. I'm just tossing a little uh, nuclear chicken paddle tail. Gonna slow roll this in. Okay, first fish. It's a bit on the small side, but not a bad start. It's actually your first one on the uh, nuclear chicken, so it's all good. Almost size, but uh, I won't be keeping any today anyway. Not too sure about Scott. There's uh, some better sized ones out there. Due for a big fish. <laughs> you know, I caught that one just in front of me, and um, gee, it looks like the last fish I just had. Not though. I saw him come up and follow it, swipe at it, and then he took it. So that was alright. Nice. Did you watch the last dance, the Michael Jordan thing? I have watched it. It's good going with the Ozark. Oh, okay. Yeah, I watched, they put up another episode yesterday, so four episodes in. It's really good. Leaving Scott behind. I'm just going to work my way up to the uh, the mouth, I suppose, to the pin. Just work my way along and uh, see what I can find. A lot of leaf litter and stuff in the water, which is a pain in the ass, but.
old mates on again. Okay, I switched over to the uh, double clutch. Seen an old mate catch a couple out there, he's uh, fishing live baits. Silver biddies or something. But, um, looks good, I'm just gonna uh, keep moving on a bit, I think. Okay, on, oh, not a bad one. Not a bad one at all, actually. She's um Ooh. about forty eight, I reckon. Happy with that. <sighs> Got him right in the eyeball. She sucks. Very nice. Well, she was pretty much of uh, perfect eating size, that one, so. Okay. <clears throat> Put a few more casts in now that I caught that one. Double clutch is snagged up. I'm going in. Oh. Well, that was where I lost my uh, last ghost perch, so happy to get that back. Old mate's on again, this one looks a little bit better, I think. Move on a bit further. Just kangaroo footprints. Boom, boom, boom.
Gosh, that's one of those things got caught last week. Right through the eye again. Yup. Yup. Lua. Um, I got one just under 50, like I had, a, I had another one that sort of uh, right in front of me, took the lure and then came off again and I got one of those little black and white things like you caught a little one. How'd you go? I uh, didn't catch it, oh, sorry I caught, I had two strikes with plenty in here but they just wasn't hooking up on them. Yeah. And then I, I just kept on going, persisting with that big lure, trying to get the bigger fish. Uh, just a couple of strikes here and then I couldn't land one. Yeah. And then I saw I've only just changed to the soft plastic and I've caught two fish. Okay. And I've been bitten off once. A few long time out there. Yeah, I've seen it for a long time. I've seen old mate out there, he's fishing with a uh, little live bait. He, yeah. he caught a, a couple. Oh, flathead? Yeah, a couple of flathead and a big long time. Yeah. But, um, Yeah, very good. Um, pulling stumps here and it's, it's going to move out and go for the drift over the weed beds. Water's cleared up a fair bit now. Oh, definitely keep that. Yeah, garfish, big garfish. Yeah. Oh, get out of there. Prime eating, the old garfish. There you go. So we've come over to the other side, directly opposite of where we were, and uh, beautiful over here. Let's see how we go. Okay, another change of location. Is definitely quieting down a fair bit. But I haven't given up quite yet. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the water.